The late Rogo's wife, Hania Said Saga, was arrested on Wednesday night by anti-terrorism police at her home in Kikambala, Kilifi County, after she was linked to last Saturday's terror attack at the Mombasa Central Police Station. Saga was early Thursday arraigned in court before Mombasa resident magistrate Emmanuel Mutunga, but did not take plea. Her appearance in court was not without drama after one of Rogo's sons confronted a Reuters photojournalist and damaged his camera after being angered that he was taking pictures of her mother. <laughs> Abu Drogo, the controversial Muslim cleric accused of being an Al-Shabaab recruiter, was gunned down by unknown people on the Mombasa Malindi Road on August 27, 2012. Meanwhile, the Registrar of Political Parties, Lucy Ndungu, has denied refusing to register Esther Pasari's party. She says in her replying affidavit to the petition by the politician that her rejection was caused by the resemblance of other parties already registered under similar name. Pasari sought the registration of her Harambe Democratic Party, but the application was declined, leading to an appeal to the Political Parties Dispute Tribunal. But the reply has been strongly contested by Pasaris through her lawyer, Maobe Mosetung, on grounds that there are several parties that have been registered under the same name. Maobe told the tribunal that the action by the registrar was arbitrary and the same should be quashed. The tribunal will make a finding over the appeal on 6th of next month. And finally, the man who drove the taxi used by slain lawyer Willie Kimani, his client and the taxi driver on June 23rd after they were kidnapped from a vocal law court have been arraigned in court. The driver who appeared before Justice Jesse Lesit did not plead to murder charges as he had no legal representation. According to the police, the man took part in the planning and actual murder of the Mavoko three. He has, however, told the police he was made to believe that the three were dangerous people. He will take play on October 20th. Lilian Otieno for Scales of Justice.